Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and it is day two of our April 2023 release, and I have a fun card to share. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new Build a Booth Taco add-ons, along with their new Tacos for Sale stamp set, their new Gnome Dyes Cinco de Mayo add-ons, their new Cinco de Mayo add-ons um, outline dies, the balloon dies, and also I didn't show you, but our Build a Booth dies. So this is a piece of Paper tray ink, pure poppy cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. And I'm using a piece of paper from um, Doodlebug from the Over the Rainbow 12 inch paper pad, or not a pad, paper line, I guess. And it's cut at um, one eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card front. And I'm just sticking that down with some ATG tape. And then on the inside, I'm going to add a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut at four by five and a quarter inches with that same ATG tape. So easy stuff. There we go. And then I'm going to add a strip of paper from the So Much Pun six inch pad. I had some of this taco paper left over from my first uh, day, day one's card. So I'm gonna add that to the inside just for a little, little bit of fun. And I'm going to cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. So that's just a one inch strip. There we go. And then I have my taco booth that I did put together on the release and review. So if you want to watch me put that together, um, you can check that out. Um, that will come out on the day of the hop. And then I use our spring dies to cut out some grass out of Doodlebug's green cardstock. There we go. And I'm just going to um, add a little bit of HEG tape to the bottom, and then I'm going to pop this grass on the front, lining it up with the bottom of the booth, and I will trim it off just a hair past the side of the booth. So I'm just going to add on some HEG tape onto the back of this really cute booth. Now this is cut cards, it's made out of cutcardstock.com um, Gman Tindalo cardstock, and it's like a wood grain cardstock. There we go. I also use Sunny Studios Gingham Jewel Tones too as well. But everything will be listed on my blog. Okay, so those tacos were put together on that release and review. And then I did go ahead and use the, our balloon dies and cut out these this balloon kind of banner um, with pure poppy cardstock. And I will cut those off to fit in a minute here. So first of all, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. On the outside, I'm using that brand new stamp set, Tacos for Sale. There we go. And I'm going to stamp it down, you know, closer to the top of the booth. And I'm using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. There we go. And a stamp positioner because like they're always your friend. I have two, I have a Misty and then I have this one as well. There we go. And you want to press down, but you don't want to press too hard. So it's like live, live life like every day, or no, live like every day is Taco Tuesday, which is kind of funny, right? And the sign says tacos, which is fun. On the inside, I'm going to stamp a sentiment um, from the Cinco de Nomo stamp set. There we go. And I did not use the outline dies for this. I thought I was going to, but I didn't end up doing that. And I'm just going to stamp the wishing you a, a spicy birthday. And I, the problem was I didn't have it lined up correctly in the corner. I make a mistake. I left it in. It's kind of blurry. Didn't like that. So I decided to re-stamp it on that same green Doodlebug cardstock. But I stamped it on the other side, not the textured side. There we go. And that's a one-inch strip. And then I'm just going to add that to the inside with a little bit of ATG tape. There's also a smudge on the white of that um, card insert there that I'm going to cover up in a minute too, just because I realized I just did not like the look of that. There we go. So I'm gonna trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. So we all make mistakes. I like to leave them in my videos just to show you, you know, how you can fix them yourself. So I went ahead and I cut the balloon out of Doodlebug's dot stripe. There we go. Isn't that good? And I just covered up my smudge. Now I'm going to add on this really cute um, taco banner with some art glitter glue. And you'll see me put that together on the release and review. 
So you can easily check that out over there. No biggie. There we go. And like I said, everything that I used will be listed on my blog. Um, those little peppers were colored with Copic markers, G07 and R27 that are on the sign. Okay, so now I'm trimming down this banner, this balloon banner. I'm not going to put the, the other balloons with the stitching on top of it. I'm just leaving this as is. It looks, I think it looks great. So I'm going to pop it up with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go. And I'm using my reverse tweezers to get them in place. And I'm going to kind of have them kind of on an angle underneath the taco sign. There we go. So it kind of has that birthday look. And I'm going to use my Secure White Jelly Roll pen in number 10 to add some, you know, white highlights to these balloons. Not obviously following any light source, just for fun. There we go. I'm just going to add a few little highlights on those little peppers as well. So like I said, I did use uh, Sunny Studios Gingham Jewel Tones um, on that booth as long, um, along with those tacos. So now I'm going to put together some tacos. Or, well, I'm, I cut out the Chubby Bunny glasses twice first in American Crafts Black Cardstock. Or actually, I just cut them out once. What am I saying? Just once. Sorry, guys. So now I'm going to put together this adorable taco. So the... The shell was cut out of American Crafts, like a light yellow. And then this green was cut out of um, Doodlebug's Dot Stripe. There we go. And then the cheese was cut out of paper from... Um, actually, you know what? I think both of these were from the So Much Pun pad. Sorry, guys. And then I'm adding on the top little shell there. Same American Crafts light yellow cardstock. And then I'm adding on the chubby bunny glasses. I just cut them once. There we go. And adding them with some art glitter glue. Now this is from that Cinco de Nomo, um, or sorry, no. Um, it's from the Gnome Dyes. Um, what are they called? The Gnome Dyes Taco Add-ons? Yeah. Or Cinco de, uh, Cinco de Mayo Add-ons? Whatever. So I'm using the, the, I'm using the taco from there. Just check out my blog for, for the list of everything. But that's from the day one release. And then I'm going to pop up these little tacos with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go. And then I'm going to use Studio Katia um, three millimeter Google eyes. And I'm going to stick those down onto my taco. Isn't he cute? I just think these are adorable. So darn cute. There we go. Now I'm pulling out Alta News um, Essential Black and White enamel dots. And I'm going to add a few little white ones just for fun. I do have a smudge um, in the upper right hand corner of that card. So I'm going to cover that up. There we go. So kind of fun, right? And yeah, so a really quick little card using adorable new products from Jada Blossom. I just think that they turned out so cute. Or it turned out so cute. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom store um, to get your hands on this adorable release, or the Gotta Have It Now anyways. Check out the blog to be inspired by the team. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you come back tomorrow. I will have another one then. And that's all. See everybody. Bye-bye.